If you've ever been sculpting characters or modeling them inside Blender, you have probably run into this problem at some point. So say you've modeled this stage character and you have these small toes that you want to mirror to the other side of the mesh. The problem is, however, because this is for a 3D print, it's not symmetrized. And for that reason, the mirror modifier wouldn't really do a good job. Also, all these have different orientations because they all share the same mesh data, so it's easy to modify them if needed. If you were to mirror them around the object origin, this is what would happen. This does not look correct at all. The orientation is completely wrong. So what you should do instead is to use the add-on flipper to flip the objects around the wall pivot. And I can see that they roughly match up and we can just put these into place right here. So instead of clicking multiple buttons and then still having to manually orientate every single object with your flipper add-on, you can just use the pie menu and you'll get the right result right away. Likewise, if you're working with collection instances, and let's say you have aligned this little clip on the, on the trunk of your car and you want to mirror it to the other side because it has two symmetrical parts like this one. Then you would not be able to do that with the normal flip command inside Blender. So let's just do scale x minus one. And you can see how this is all messed up and has a weird rotation right now. If you look at the rotation, the reason is that it does not take the rotation into account when mirroring this object. What the flipper add-on does is just essentially that taking that rotation into account and letting you flip everything around the pivot so it has the right rotation when you finish the flipping. Likewise, you can always go back here if you wanted to flip it around its own axis instead. One last example of when it could be very useful to use this kind of add-on is when you're doing set dressing. So for this scene, I had a lot of these rocks scattered and these mountain, mountains scattered throughout the world. And sometimes I wanted to check what happened if I just flipped one of these. But Blender is very weird when it comes to this. For instance, by clicking this mesh and trying to scale it by minus one, nothing happens. Literally nothing happens. And this is just one of the weird things about Blender. It turns out if you scale it just a slight bit more than one, it actually flips. But it's very unpredictable behavior. That's also why I think the add-on does a better job of this in some cases. So if we are to use the add-on, we can flip it around the object pivot and we'll see how it's now flipped and we can try to rotate it back down and maybe rearrange it a little bit and see if that looks better from the camera view. The same thing is the case with these mountains in the background. So let's say we want to make a small path for the car to drive through. So we want to mirror these these walls to the other side of the world. So let's set the cursor to world origin and let's go to 3D cursor and use the blender flip to see what happens. And you can see how these, they keep the same rotation, which is very weird and not what you would usually want to have. And even worse is that they have a weird orientation on this axis as well. So you would have to counter rotate that somehow. So instead let's try to use the add-on. So let's duplicate these and flip X around world pivot. You can see how they are perfectly flipped around the world pivot and we can adjust these as we like. 